So now that we have a um, sufficient theoretical background, I think it's time to check um, a certain piece of code. So imagine that we want to create a, a message displayer, but we want to display messages um, of the form A in parallel, almost in parallel, while displaying messages of um, the form B. Okay, so in each um, uh, uh, um, for each type of those messages, we may create a different thread. So, as you may notice here, I created only one Java class, only one 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 class. Um, but I parameterized that class with the string that would be displayed. I called it the task name. Um, and the run function here that I'm offering. So first of all, I made my class extends a thread and uh, I overrided the run function in which I used a loop. So here, just to make it simple, I'm just making two steps, but you can just for fun, make it 10 different steps. I'm displaying the following message. I am the task, task name. So A or B, for example, and I'm working on uh, or for the ith time. So it's i plus one just to display one when i is equal to zero and to display two when i is equal to one. Okay, good. So on the other hand, I created this driver class, this main class. I call it multi-threading task in which um, actually I'm creating two different instances of the message displayer class. I call them thread one and the thread two and I've called thread one dot start and the thread two, thread two dot start. I think you're eager to know or to see like me, what would be the output. So let's discover together. So after running this example, you see that um, the first line has been uh, dis displayed by task A working for the first time, and then task B working for the first time, and then task A working for the second time, and then task B working for the second time. You will see that we may have plenty of different other configurations. All the permutations of those lines almost are acceptable, except when it comes to uh, the order between this, um, the first and the second time of the same task, they cannot be actually uh, switched Okay, so they should be in this order because uh, the first iteration for the same task should be absolutely executed before the second iteration of the same task. But you will see that the first and the second of task A could be executed before even uh, the first iteration of task B, or maybe both of them after the second iteration of uh, the task B. There is no uh, constraint on the order of the execution of the instructions. All that we know is that, or all that is guaranteed is that the order of the execution here is sound as you used to know. Java cannot jump to the last iteration and then jump to the middle iteration and then to the first one. This cannot happen. So let's run once again and see if this is really um, a true. So, well, when you want to prove a point here or disprove it, well, I think you need to run plenty of times to get all the possible ways. Okay, so sometimes you have you get the same output multiple times before um, uh, you see it well. And you notice here that thread two is displaying, it is the task B. Nevertheless, it, it started the first and it finished the first before even uh, task number one, which is the task A started. Okay, so this shows you actually that the order is not guaranteed and which is completely fine if you uh, uh, want to use parallel, parallel, parallelism. If you don't want, then just use run and run. Okay, and then the code would be uh, executed absolutely sequentially. So even if you run it 100 of thousands of times, well, you'll get the same output that you are used to with um, to it with the uh, sequential code. 
So you create an instance of the first class and instance of the second class, and then you are calling a normal function from those classes. Well, they will absolutely execute in this order. You get into run. Um, so let's go to run. You will execute this for loop until it finishes, and then the program will get back, will end here, and you, it gives back the control to the main. You call run once again, but here the task name is B, and then you go inside those two uh, uh, iterations of the for loop, and then you return back, and the main finishes, and that's it. You can go uh, with a uh, line of break and then debug your code and see that this is exactly what's happening. Okay, I'm going to just run once again. <laughs> you will see it's absolutely the same output again and again. Task A finishes everything and then task B. So how to get the flexible parallelism version? Um, once again, that is not that uh, interesting. In, in this very basic example, okay, there is really no effective need uh, to create such an application. But later on, when you want to read a file and check uh, a server if it is available and uh, resolve a certain DNS, wait for the answer, do this, do that, well, I think you need um, uh, to use parallelism in this case, as we are doing here with uh, this multi-threading technique. So let's execute or uh, hit Shift F6, um, and you will see that it's one of the random uh, versions. So what I want you to do for this example is to list all the possible outputs and all the um, impossible outputs, please. Okay, whether we are calling start or run, and then we are going to discuss them during our life next time. Thank you.